In the heart of the principal's office, a tense conversation unfolds. Sean Talong, with a stern voice, says, It's hard to say, Mr. Chin. Your girlfriend went to pick up a child, both of them bullied by your school teacher. That child clearly took first place in the exam, but the teacher tampered with the exam paper crate. The principal, with a voice filled with concern, responds, How could such a thing have happened? I'll verify it immediately. Sean Talong, with a sense of determination in his tone, reassures Mr. Chin. If I come to know who bribed the teacher, I'll refuse them at the first instance. I'll definitely help you vent your anger. Mr. Chin, with a curious tone, asks, Really? So, what do you plan to do? Sean Talong, with a hint of anger in his voice, replies, This person is too detestable. We should have this child driven out of school, never to return. Let them bow their heads in shame for a lifetime. Mr. Chin, with a resigned tone, agrees. Then do as you say, Sean Talong. Sean Talong, with a sense of victory in his voice, assures, Definitely, Mr. Chin. I'll find this little bastard and the old bastard and sort them out. The principal, with a sigh of relief, interrupts. Sorry, Mr. Chin. I just verified it. Chung Chung is definitely in first place. Mr. Chin, with a commanding tone, orders. Sure, principal. Come with me and announce this matter. The children are waiting at the school area. Sean Talong, with a tone mixed with fear and excitement, thinks to himself. This time, holding on to Mr. Chin's tie, I'll be rich. Meanwhile, at the school, a different confrontation is taking place. Miss Fang bravely confronts Miss Fusilan. Remember what you said, don't regret it. Miss Fusilan retorts with a haughty laugh. Fang Shulan, how many times shall I say it? I have never regretted in my life. However, if you can't provide proof, your Chung Cheng will drop out of school, and you will bow on your knees and shout three times, I am a peak. Miss Fang, with a tone of defiance, warns, Fusilan, don't bully people too much. Miss Fusilan, with a tone of arrogance, taunts. What's wrong in bullying you? I think you can pay to build a school. You can't even afford to buy a brick here. Look at you, inferior people. You don't deserve to go to the same school as my son. Miss Fang, with a tone of determination, retorts. Okay, when the principal arrives, I will make you regret. Miss Fu, with a tone of disbelief, laughs. Ha ha, I regret? What a joke. You know the principal won't come. The episode wraps up, leaving the audience on the edge of their seats wondering what will happen next in this tangled web of deceit and power struggle.